Hello guys and girls, Screezilla here, and third video of the day actually today. Um, yeah, pretty productive day. Um, this has just popped up for me. Um, new opportunity for light vehicles. Thin armor, weaker guns, and limited crew is non no longer an excuse. The most vulnerable vehicles will now have much more opportunity to turn the tide of a battle to gain tide of battle or gain more rewards. We plan to add several key features for lightly armored vehicles at ranks two to six. These will not only bring more tactical diversity, but will also allow them to be on par with other vehicle types and significantly improve teamwork in War Thunder. Active Scouting The first feature for the above types of vehicle is active scouting. From now on, your low calibre gun is no excuse for retreating. Scout the enemy position and pass the information on to your allies. You will receive a decent reward. The scouting feature will work differently depending on the game mode used. In order to scout the environment in an arcade mode, just select a target and push scout button, maybe bound to any settings. After that, an enemy marker will become visible for all your teammates for 30 seconds. In realistic mode, you will have to use binoculars or sniper mode or gun sights. Once in this view, put your crosshairs on an enemy vehicle and press the scout button. After that, a marker will appear, appear over the enemy vehicle and will be updated for 30 seconds. All allies will receive the recon data, which means that you cannot apply your skill to vehicles that have already been scouted. Passing enemy coordinates takes time, so you may only use the scouting feature after a specific cooldown period. This applies even if you were even if you were have even if you were have not been successful in reconnaissance. Okay, um, sorry, that took me a couple of moments there to read that. Um, every time a scouted enemy is destroyed by an ally in AB, the original scout who lit it up will receive additional artillery strike as well as an air strike point. Whilst in RB, it will reduce the SP requirements for any aircraft for the scout. Every scout will receive an additional reward for every enemy vehicle spotted. With his scouting, he will also receive a reward for enemy enemy vehicle that was spotted by him and destroyed by a friendly team. However, in Arcade, the spotting scout will only receive a bonus for enemy vehicle's destruction if that enemy has not already been revealed by another ally. Okay. Let's talk about this in a minute. More useful features. There is one extremely important feature for these light vehicles. They can provide repairs for every member in the team, even if they are not in their squad. So if you're playing a heavy tank, select the repairing short message. Even if your current vehicle doesn't have a repair kit, your teammate may still save you. Okay, that's a good feature. Additional modifications. Also, these light vehicles will have additional modifications for research. Airstrike. In Arcade, this will permit the scout to join any air battle started by your teammates. This will not be limited to a fighter. You will be able to use an attacker or a bomber, even though your team has already begun the battle. Your opponent will have an opportunity to add an additional fighter, though. In Realistic mode, this modification will reduce spawn point requirements for use in aircraft in combined battles. Improved optic sights will increase the spotting distance by 30% in all modes. Don't get the spotting distance because that really doesn't do anything in realistic battle, but I guess for the radar. Anyway, let's um Yeah, let's try and keep calm about this one. Good idea. Bad idea. Good idea. Active scouting, actually allowing people to scout. Bad idea making it so it makes aircraft available quicker. Yeah, you know my feelings on CAS at the moment, that it's affecting the tank battles a bit too much. Um, well, this is going to make it worse, isn't it, really? Uh, so what you do is you just drive up to the middle of anywhere, scout out two tanks with binoculars, say, get killed, those people get killed, you jump in a plane because you've managed to lower the SP points for the plane anyway and you've got the reward for them being killed and that reduces your SP points for that plane again then you can fly in a plane 
revenge kill whoever killed you and then jump back into a scout tank and do it all over again yeah I don't really like this idea um, it's gonna cause more planes in ground forces which I really don't want to happen because planes are the biggest bane of our existence anyway um, I'm guessing they're doing this for the French tank line because French tanks have a lot of light scout tanks um, so it needs to be added. I like the idea of a marker indicator. Just don't like the idea of planes being easier to get for everybody. Yeah. I have to see how this works out, really. Um, so designated scout vehicles. So the M22 Locust, the M5A1, the M24, M41A1, T92, M56, M50 Ontos, M50... M551, T114, M24TL, and the M5A1. Germany, the RV251, of course, the Bagel Light Panzer 57, and the Panzer 2H. Um. Wait, Panzer 2H. That's a premium tank, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Ah. Ah. So the Germans get one scout tank. <laughs> the Puma. The, 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 the Puma, guys. The, uh, the Puma. That, that's a scout vehicle. Okay, I'm not going to freak out too much. Russia, T-80, ASU-57, PT-76, ASU-85, Object 906, BMP, and Type 62. Okay. Hey, so the Russians and Americans are going to own in this. The British. Japan, M24, M41A1, and the Type 60 SPRG. France, the AMX 13. Huh. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be interesting to see how it works, isn't it, really? I don't like this. Um, there are scout tanks in the German line. There are light tanks, and um, yeah, two two premium vehicles. Yeah, that that that's that's a bit bullshit, really, isn't it? Um, this is really cool. The repairing feature, love it. Kind of like the scouting feature. It makes for a good idea. Don't like the fact that. This is going to be really, really poorly implicate, implemented. Um, and I don't like the fact it's going to make planes just more more of a pain in the ass, really. Um, let me know what you think below. Um, once this comes out on the test server, I'll give it a try. Okay, guys, have a lovely night. Squeezilla out. Bye-bye.